the biggest news we are all anxiously anticipating is who the Denver Broncos will choose to be their next head coach. Once that is announced with a revamped coaching staff in place the franchise can earnestly begin preparing to do whatever it takes to become championship contenders once more. Free agency will be a big part of that equation, but without question the Broncos' long-term success will be highly dependent on how well they draft. The Broncos officially have nine selections in this year's draft which was confirmed by John Elway. How did they that many picks? Trades. They received extra 4th and 7th round selections from the Houston Texans for Demarius Thomas, as well as an extra 5th round selection from the Minnesota Vikings for Trevor Seaman. The team is not expected to receive any compensatory selections but their first 7 selections should all be in or near the top 150 picks overall. That will provide the franchise with the draft capital needed to acquire many quality players or even make moves up the board to get the best prospects possible. At an early glance the Broncos' 2018 draft class appears to be the best Elway has ever had in his time leading the franchise. In fact, it could prove to be one of the best any team in the league has had in that span. However, Elway knows that in order for the team to reforge itself into contenders they have to continue to build through the draft. We're not at 5 but we're at 10, so we've got to be good in the draft again. It's got to be important for us to continue to build this way, stated Elway at his press conference at the end of December. We had a good year last year and we've got to have another good year this year. We've got nine picks, and so we've got to make those count. But what path should the Broncos take via the 2019 NFL Draft to bolster their talent on their roster? They could opt to sell the farm and obtain a highly prized quarterback such as Dwayne Haskins. It is an interesting idea to ponder but a scenario that would likely leave them short of picks to address other needs. Perhaps they stand pat at the 10th selection and choose one of the best defenders at cornerback, defensive line or linebacker. On the other hand if a top-flight offensive tackle was available a move there makes sense given the issues the team has in that area. The team also is in dire need of a play-making tight end that can give a boost to their passing game. Thankfully, this is a great draft to be searching for a tight end. What will happen four months from now is entirely unpredictable but there is no question that a successful 2019 NFL draft is essential in order for the Broncos to rebound from back-to-back -back losing seasons. It will take a lot of diligence and a bit of luck. All we can do is hope that Elway and the Broncos front office can make lighting strike twice in consecutive drafts. As always, thank you for reading and here is today's offering of Horse Tracks. Horse Tracks Mike Munchak or Vic Fangio? Broncos GM John Elway has several factors to consider. Now, everybody waits for Broncos general manager John Elway's decision. The fans, the coaches, the players, everybody. Breaking down the Broncos' NFL options to find a QB in 2019 The Broncos will have some options for a QB in 2019 who's already in the league. Broncos coaching search, Gary Kubiak the X Factor. He won't be Denver's next head coach but the former Super Bowl coach's presence hangs over whatever decision the Broncos make. Rookie Report, Philip Lindsay needs no introduction The first ever undrafted offensive rookie to make the Pro Bowl, Lindsay was one the season's best stories. Denver Broncos mock draft, sell the farm for Dwayne Haskins. What scenario would work for the Denver Broncos to bring in Ohio State quarterback Dwayne Haskins in the 2019 NFL Draft? Let's take a look. Book is closed, Josh McDaniels to remain Pats OC, NFL.com Josh McDaniels is staying in New England. The offensive coordinator said that book is closed on any more interviews for vacant head coaching job. Arizona Cardinals hire Cliff Kingsbury as head coach, NFL.com Cardinals are going offensive with their next head coach. Arizona, which finished the league worst 3-13 in 2018, hired former Texas Tech head coach Cliff Kingsbury on Tuesday. Buccaneers hire Bruce Arians as next head coach, NFL.com Bruce Arians' retirement didn't last long. 
The Tampa Bay Buccaneers have hired the former Arizona Cardinals coach to be their next head coach, the team announced on Tuesday. Falcons hire former Bucks coach Dirk Coder as new OC, NFL.com Dirk Coder is staying in the NFC South. The former Tampa Bay Buccaneers coach is returning to Atlanta as the Falcons' offensive coordinator, replacing Steve Sarkeesian. Cowboys headed to LA, aiming to raise bar on expectations. The Cowboys, who haven't appeared in the NFC title game since 1995, didn't spend much time patting themselves on the back after their win Saturday. What's behind Chiefs coach Andy Reid's struggles in the playoffs? Clock management, blown leads, bad luck. There are plenty of reasons for Reid's playoff collapses, and Reid's legacy hangs over these Chiefs. Colts' incredible turnaround happened fast, but was no quick fix. How did Indy go from 4-12 to to the playoffs? The healthy QB, the right coach, character and a dream draft by GM Chris Ballard were the main ingredients.